In the most recent video, we discussed how to change our maximum expected value principle into the maximum expected utility principle for situations that don't otherwise have numerical values. The formula was exactly the same, but instead of values, we assigned utility to the options. The fundamental concept of this is simply comparing the assigned utility of various options when making a decision. This concept seems simple enough, but in reality, many of us do not assign accurate values to different situations in life and end up making bad decisions as a result. One of the main factors in success and happiness is the ability to set your priorities rationally, so this skill is extremely important. Unfortunately, many of us have a narrow way of thinking about such things. In this video, I would like to make the concept of assigning utilities clearer. How do we decide which things in life are important and which aren't? Let me ask you a question. Would you trade one of your arms for one billion dollars? You would probably say, of course not. That's a silly question. The point here is that your health is more important than any sum of money. You can put a price on it. In other words, if I sacrifice my health in order to achieve a goal, I have my priorities backward and I am suffering from a narrow way of thinking. When I was in college, for instance, I wanted to be a good student and do well on exams, which would sometimes make me worry unnecessarily. Looking back on this now, it seems ridiculous. Doing poorly on one exam would not be catastrophic. The worst that would have happened would be that I failed the exam. Compared to the bigger things in life, this would have very, very limited harm. With this broader method of thinking though, you can feel much better in situations where you would normally be worrying over nothing. Prioritizing and comparing things and worries sounds easy, but is actually difficult for many people to do. Sometimes we tend to magnify the little insignificant things in life, such as being stuck in traffic. This is something that commonly enrages people, but when compared to the important things in life, such as health, mental health, overall well-being, our relationship with family and friends, the temporary inconvenience of being stuck in traffic means absolutely nothing. By removing these unimportant worries every day, we can improve our lives significantly. The issue is that when we are in the middle of a problem, we magnify it and essentially give it a much higher weight than it deserves, and this in turn distorts our decision-making capability. This is not to say that we shouldn't put effort into things in life. Of course you should study for exams and try to be on time for things. But the point here is that we should not worry so much about the end result in situations like this. Simply do your best and see what happens. Randomness exists, so this is all any of us can really do. Worrying doesn't do anybody any good. And don't magnify the importance of unimportant things. This also relates to our previous discussion on simplicity and the necessity of trying to reduce the number of things we worry about daily. So the point here is that we are trying to quantify different outcomes and assign them reasonable utility compared to other outcomes. The same way we use currency to value objects. Now this of course does not mean that we should necessarily think of everything in terms of money. Rather, we would like to quantify them so that we can compare them. The key to be able to do this appropriately is simply to practice. Try doing this as much as you can in your own life every day. Decide how much certain things mean to you and how they will affect your life in the long run. When I started doing this, I was amazed to discover how much I used to worry about pointless things. Thank you for watching.